proper party now! To adventure! <laughs> Let's go! Hut. Let's go! Once Mam joined them, the trio managed to reach Romo's castle. But unable to enter it at night, they checked into an inn in town. At the inn, by sheer luck, they ran into the fake hero's party, who had caused so much trouble on Dermline Island. The fake hero's party swore they had changed. So, letting bygones be bygones, they decide to spend the night under the same roof. From here on, I must be ruthless. The pride and honor of a warrior's title is meaningless without victory. I will use whatever method it takes and crush him! Come out and face me, die! Otherwise, the Romo's kingdom falls today! That voice! This has got to be Crocodine's Furfang Legion! Go forth! Destroy Robo's castle! Die, wait! Die! Not good! The enemy army is overwhelming us! We can't fend them off much longer. Your Majesty, our only option is to escape. I will not abandon my people and flee. A king's desertion is equal to defeat. I may be old and weak, but I am not about to turn tail and run. We must fight. We must hold out hope until the end. The gods offer no miracles to those who retreat. Who goes there? I am commander of the Dark Army's Furfang Legion. King Ramos, I have no interest in your pathetic little life, but you are the perfect bait with which to lure out my target. We have to go after Dai. But what'll I do? Crocodine's really powerful. It'll be like just going to die, you know? That is exactly why we have to help. Dai might not make it. We all need to work together. Just don't worry about it. Trust me on this, Dai is super strong in a pinch. He won't lose. Come on, what's with you? Aren't you supposed to be his friend? His companion? Don't you care about him? You know what? I never even wanted to go up against the Dark Army in the first place. I didn't ask for this dumb fight, all right? I mean, I know Dai and I train together and all, but don't you see? He's the reason they keep coming, ma'am. I don't want to end up dead because of him. Ouch! Why you? Did you learn nothing from our Master of On? I thought you and I were fighting to avenge him. Aren't you one of his students? Because I am. That's why I followed you too. Meanwhile, at Romo's castle. Stop! I'm the one you want! There you are, Dai. I've been waiting. <laughs> now, fight to your heart's content, Crocodile. Stop! I'm the one you want! There you are, Dai. I've been waiting. From here on, I must be ruthless. The pride and honor of a warrior's title is meaningless without victory. Come on! Let's do this, Crocodile! <laughs> now, fight to your heart's content, Crocodile. Uh -huh. 
spell in only a few days. They say that it only takes three days for a warrior to evolve, and he actually did it. If he continues to grow, his power could become the greatest threat the Dark Army has ever faced. Die! Ma'am, the king needs a mid-heal. Yeah, you got it. It looks like you have left me no choice but to use this. That's a magic cylinder. A what? It can hold living creatures. You can bring them in or out with a spell. He must have some sort of backup in there. I'm sure of it. Go, gosh! Grandpa Brass? Maybe Dai's adoptive parent, but he's still a lump shaman. If he leaves his island and falls under the Dark King's magic power, then he becomes a vanguard for the Dark Army. Destroy him! Now, lump shaman brass! That monster! Wait! You can't! That's my grandpa! He raised me after I washed up on Dermline Island! I cannot harm his adoptive parent. There's no one better to use against that would-be hero. <laughs> Fado! What's going on? Knock it off! He had Fuddle cast on him! He's confused! Grandpa, stop it! Why are you doing this? What's wrong? Grandpa! You've got to wake up! Don't you recognize me? D die Grandpa! Frizzle! <laughs> Grandpa... This is the end! It's you again. I've got a frizzle of my own for you. No, don't! Ma'am, you might hit Grandpa. Please. He's the only real family I've got. Oh. Now finish him, Brass. Crocodine! How can you call yourself a warrior? After all that talk about pride, I really thought that you'd be more honorable than this. That's right! You're seriously using a hostage against a little boy? You're a disgrace of a warrior! That's enough! A warrior without achievement is like a beast with no teeth! Your words are meaningless. I've already abandoned my pride! It's all over, Dai! You won't suffer for long. In fact, I'll end it now! And I'll show you my most powerful attack! Beast King, Angler Class! Victory!
We must fight! We must hold out hope until the end! <laughs> to adventure! <laughs> Once ma'am joined Stop! I'm the one you want! There you are, Die. I've been waiting for 
From here on, I must be ruthless. The pride and honor of a warrior's title is meaningless without victory. Come on! Let's do this, Crocodile! <laughs> now, fight to your heart's content, Crocodile. You're mine! You're mine! I'll pulverize you! What was that? That could be dying, ma'am. It's not my concern. Not anymore. It's not my business whether they live or die. You're still here? I'm surprised. Wait, you're that mage from the fake heroes party, aren't you? Name's Masofo. Hey, you're just looting the place, aren't you? I am a student of Avon the hero. I am not some small town crook like you guys. Oh, how very interesting. So does the famous Avan make students of people who abandon their companions? Uh. Here. Let me show you how they're doing with my crystal ball. Die, old man brass. But how? D die. I'll heal you. <gasps> No, ma'am! Well, it looks like they're in trouble. Somebody should help them, don't you think? But even if I go, what can I do against Crocodine? Uh, come on! A hero is one with courage. Uh? And true courage is not planned for, nor does true courage depend on the strength of one's enemies. It's a choice! You like that? They aren't my words. They were what my master would always say. When I was young, I also trained to become a mage and to fight for justice like you have. But I couldn't handle it. I'd often abandon my companions and run away from the danger. And just look at me now. So, hurry on. Don't give up while there's a single, solitary shard of courage left within you. <sighs> now it finally comes to an end. With this attack! Farewell! Stop! Huh? Ah, oh, the mage from before. What could someone like you possibly do by showing up now? Bring on! Master Ravon, lend me your courage. One-fifth, no, just one-tenth of what you had should be enough! How dare you! LEAVE MY FRIENDS ALONE! HOW DARE YOU! You captured him from the island and turned him into your servant! You, you dirty fiends! Go and run away, boy! Compared to die, you're nothing more than a gutless little worm! But if you leave now, I will spare you. No way! I'm never abandoning my friends! Master Avon did not train cowards! Crocodile, Come and fight me one-on-one! -on -one! I thought I was a gutless worm! Don't tell me you're gonna use a hostage against me, too! You watch it! Very well. If it's death you seek, you can go with your friends to the afterlife!
Well, better keep at it. How dare you? Leave my friends alone! How dare you? What could someone like you possibly do by showing up now? Be gone! Maybe I can't bring it to a stalemate like Master Avon, but I should be able to buy Dai enough time to recover. Wait, unlike Master Avon, that's it! I've never pulled it off before, but I have to try! Giving up either! Attacks like these wouldn't stop you from fighting! I can't stay down just after one or two. This battle's just getting started! I'll just have to sacrifice myself and do whatever I can. Maybe I can't bring it to a stalemate like Master Avon, but I should be able to buy Dai enough time to recover. Wait, like Master Avon, that's it! I've never pulled it off before, but I have to try! Ah! Ah! Go and run away, boy! Compared to die, you're nothing more than a gutless little worm! But if you leave now... Spare you. No way! I'm never abandoning my friends! Master Avon did not train cowards! Master Avon, lend me your courage! I'll bother I do! So, what can you do with your rod shattered and your magic power all spent? <laughs> because that was all part of my plan. Shattering my rod and saving my magic power. Wait, what? Now watch! The legendary spell my Master Avon excelled at! I hereby banish you, Dark Forces! Glimmer! Huh? What? Where am I? What happened to me? You were under the Dark Army's control. It was a dirty trick to use you against Dai. Listen, no matter what, you can't leave that magic circle! You little... What have you done, boy? Answer me! It's Glimmer. The spell creates a magic circle that repels all evil. I can't cover an entire island like Avon can, but I can at least keep a little guy like him safe. You fool! What's the point in saving Brass now? Uh -huh. Face it, you used a major spell, but it was beyond your abilities, and now you're totally spent. If Old Man Brass is okay, then Dai can fight freely, and he'll take care of you easily. He's powerful. You know that. Really? You were willing to sacrifice yourself for him? Nothing quite that noble. To have to live 
on after just abandoning my friends? As far as I'm concerned, that wouldn't be much of a life at all! This fledgling of a boy is risking his life to fight. And yet, look at me. I've abandoned my pride out of fear and resorted to vile treachery. Is this truly the way? What is victory worth if it's at the cost of my pride? Cursed Crocodile! What are you doing? Finish the boy up already! Victory is finally at hand! Do you want to lose your seat as Legion Commander over feelings of mercy? Forgive me, boy. What the? Crocodile, you'll pay for this. <clears throat> First, you used my grandpa for evil, and then you hurt my friends! Now you're going down! It's not like I want to die, but unlike you, I've still got my pride! Crocodile, you'll pay for this. The mark on his forehead! Ah! Is this guy's true power? The power that forced Lord Hadlar to retreat? Crocodile, you'll pay for this. You hurt my friends. Now you're going down! Good. You're mine! Ah! Everything I have to def- My master taught me this! Strash! some hidden ability of his. As far as I can tell, that strange mark responds to Dai's anger. And right now, he must be truly angry. I think he's about to explode after all the Dark Army's dirty schemes. Is this Dai's true power? The power that forced Lord Hadlar to retreat? If I lose, why have I thrown my pride away? I must win even if it destroys me! Your body may be like steel, but at such close range, there's no chance you'll overcome me! With my greatest attack, I send you to the afterlife! Hey, die! You! Die! Master's special! 
Special attack! You're finished! Beast King Aguas Blast! Was it? An impressive attack. You, you win. <laughs> if losing was always my fate, I wish that I'd fought you fair and square. You boy, you taught me a lesson. On how valuable pride really is. Huh? If my defeat is at the hands of one such as you, I have no regrets. As a matter of fact, I'm proud. I was so obsessed with victory. I was a fool. Farewell, die. Don't ever lose. A hero must always remain strong! Huh? Crocodile! You won! <gasps> of you fought very well, especially Dai. This victory was thanks to you. You truly have grown into a young man who is worthy to carry the title of hero. And from this day on, you may introduce yourself as such. Your Majesty, it's too soon for me. What are you talking about? I would have never won it alone, because you, ma'am, Gomachan, and everyone in the castle work together for this victory. If I'm a hero, then everyone is a hero. So, until I get a little stronger, and can fight without burdening anybody else, I can't in good faith accept this title. I'm a bit embarrassed. It's admirable. Very well, I look forward to your further growth. These gifts are the least I can do for you three. Now, please, try them on, and then we'll go show you off to the people. Everyone is eager to see the heroes who saved this country. It feels pretty good to work really hard and have people thank you for it like this afterwards. Hey, Pop. You actually seem a little cool today. Nice work. Wow! Thank you for all the support! Die, listen to them cheer for you. It's as clear as day. While you may not wish it yet, I'm sure the people will speak of you as Die the Little Hero.
to adventure! I'll give it my all! <laughs> I have committed your adventure. Having saved the kingdom of Romos, Dai and his friends next made their way to Papnica by ship. En route, the captain informed them that Holkia, the continental home to Papnica, was Dark Lord Hadlar's base 15 years prior. As such, Papnica was seeing the fiercest combat. Worse, the Legion of Immortals, the Dark Army's most fearsome, had come to seize it. soon. Just hold on! They're all so frail. Why do humans have such fragile bodies? It's such a letdown. If these are supposed to be their best warriors, then this country is all but mine. Master, we just received an urgent message from a Hydra! Our Legion commanders are together at Sovereign Rock Castle! Why all of us together? Did they say what's going on? Yes, Master. It seems a new young hero has risen and defeated Crocodile the Beast King! Really now, Crocodile? I see, so it's an emergency. So be it then. I will go to Sovereign Rock Castle. You finish off this country yourselves. Show no mercy! Burn the villages! And put any survivors on ice! Leave no trace of the humans, be it house, or field, or even livestock! Understand? Yes, yes sir! Ah, Flazard. Fast as ever I see. You live up to your name of Blitz Captain of the Dark Army. I heard Crocodine was defeated. Truly pathetic. To lose to a mere human kid. That boy Dai may be human, but he is not to be underestimated. I offered him a flawless scheme, and still the so-called Beast King managed to lose. He's being kept in resurrection fluid, but his chances are 50% at best. If whoever caused this damage is really just a kid, then he's a true monster. No one, no matter how strong they are, should be able to damage Crocodine's steel body like this. That means this die must possess more than just physical power. I concur. This fledgling hero possesses an immense potential. Aran, my sympathies, pal. Heading off to take Ringaya, only to be summoned right back. It's a cruel joke. Save your sympathies. The Ringaya kingdom has been destroyed. But really so fast? Come along. Lord Hadlar awaits in the left shoulder chamber. 
He's as powerful as a wrathful god. Always has been. Thank you all for coming so far. We're still missing Hyunkle and Mistvern. Who in the blazes would be late for an emergency summons? Come now, Flazard. You really haven't noticed? Mistvern is seated right next to you. You! How did you... Hmm. Then that just leaves Hyunkle. Sadly, it appears I must apologize to all of you. I had intended to gather our forces in order to obliterate the new hero, Dai. But Dark King Vern has a different notion, and he has made a direct order. He gave the task of defeating the boy to Hyunkle, and we are not to interfere. Is this really the famously scenic port city of Papnaga? Captain! This place is dangerous! Once we're off the ship, get as far away from here as you can! Hey, wait up, Dai! Please be okay, Leona. Leona! No way! Dai. We were too late. This is terrible. This must be the Legion of Immortals! They invaded this country! C calm down, Dai! We're clearly outnumbered here! Oh, fine then! It looks like we have to fight! That was the Avon-style sword technique! An Earth Slash! What? Then he's one of Avon's students, like we are? Thank you for saving us! So you're a student of Master Avon too? Believe it or not, we're also... I knew it. You're his disciples. It is indeed true that I learned to fight from Avon. And if I'm to be called a student of his, well then, I suppose I would in fact be the first. What a freaky sword. I've never seen a blade so ominous looking. He's got a strange, malicious feel to him. Is he really on our side? So tell us, what happened to this country? It fell to the Dark Army's Undead Legion two days ago. The Undead Legion? You mean those skeletons? And Leona? What happened to the princess of this country? No idea. I was wondering about that myself. Leona. We were lucky to meet you here when we did. Join us, and let's all fight together. No, hold it! I'm telling you guys, something is off here. What the heck are you talking about, Pop? Yeah, come on. Only a student of Master Avon could use Earth Slash, right? If you're really one of his students, you should have an insignia of Avon like us. You mean this? Well, don't I feel dumb. See, it's all fine. We're gonna need all the help we can get, so what do you say? Fight with us! We'll take on the Dark Army together! <laughs> okay, what's so funny? I was just laughing at what complete fools the three of you have turned out to be. It seems... To adventure! <laughs> We're a proper party now!
Fire? Oh, 
All you have to do is join me. If you do, I'll even let you rule half the world. It was a long time ago. Unbelievable! Where did that mark come from? A dragon? How dare you! Leave my friends alone! How dare you! Perhaps it's the young warrior from Dermline Island who is truly worthy of wearing the crown of champions. Oh, you seem to have gained a pleasant memory indeed.
It is good. I told you guys, this creep is a villain after all! Yeah, but his insignia... It's probably just a fake or something! Oh no, it isn't a fake. The uncomfortable truth of the matter is, not all students of Avon respect their teacher and love justice like you. Some of us love chaos and have embraced the darkness instead. After seeing just how weak justice really is! My name is Hyunkel. One of the six commanders of the Dark Army! Leader of the Undead Legion! How could a student of Master Avon be a Legion commander of the Dark Army? Wait, Yunkel, haven't you heard? Master Avon, he was defeated by the Dark Army. He's gone. Yes, I heard about it. Word is, Hadlar did it. I'll admit, it was quite a shock. To be defeated by the very enemy he once bested? That's what he gets for taking on students and neglecting his own training. For what it's worth, I was hoping to kill him myself. Such a shame. <sighs> I asked the Dark King to give me a chance at defeating Avon's students instead. However, now that I see their weaklings like you, I can't tell which is more disappointing! <sighs> Don't disrespect my master! I'm not gonna let you talk like that! Take it back!
Give it my all! <laughs> you know, I recently recall... I'll end I'll your end misery. misery. What's the meaning of this? The uncomfortable truth of the matter is that not all students of Avon respect their teacher and love justice like you. My name is Yunkel, one of the six commanders of the Dark Army, leader of the Undead Legion! How could a student of Master Avon be a Legion commander of the Dark Army? <laughs> You in one blow! Brace for it! To a grip! Uh, wave slash! Are you okay? Good! Call that a Von Strash? <laughs> what a joke! It was just a cheap imitation. You know the lesson. Slice the earth, slice the sea, slice the air. And what slices everything is the Avon Strash. Fighting you, I can tell you haven't mastered the Avon style sword technique yet. You're still missing the third skill the air slash. Ugh. Die. Even if you breeze through the special hard course, you'll probably learn Air Slash on the seventh day. That's right. I only ended up training with Master Avon for three days! Even I can't use Air Slash. It's the greatest of the Avon-style sword techniques. It's only when Earth, Wave, and Air have all been mastered that the Avon Strash reveals its ultimate power. In its current state, your attack is nothing more than an incomplete imitation. And even I'm capable of that. Come on! Stretch! Three against one. Well, then I will have to use my secret weapon. As a warrior, I can't use spells, so the Dark King Vern gave me a powerful solution. A supreme armor that repels all attack spells. When I wear it, I'm invincible! Supreme armor, huh? I don't see any armor around here. Oh no, it's right in front of you! Undo! That's right. This dark armor blade is both the mightiest weapon and the mightiest defense. Stand down. I won't fight a woman. Do not underestimate me. Women can risk their lives in battle, especially when fighting for justice. You learned it too, didn't you? 
I know that Master Avon would never grant one of his insignias to someone who's unworthy. I know that deep down you... What? I don't need it. I only carried that relic around to help me find Avon or his disciples. So I could have the pleasure of killing them myself. But why? I don't understand why you hate him so much. Because Avon is a murderer, the killer of my father! This continent of Holkia was once the Dark Lord Hadlar's base. The old Dark Army descended on the world like a blight. The casualties were many. Poor thing. I was raised in Hadlar's underground palace by the armful Bartos. The only reason he was allowed to keep a human child was because he was the strongest knight in all the Dark Army. And he was a guardian of the Hellgate, which led to the Dark Lord's chambers. I shall name you Hyunkel, after the legendary swordsman who once ruled the Underworld. I wasn't permitted to leave the palace, but I grew up without ever questioning it. Bartos was the first man to teach me warmth. But then one day... Bartos, sir! The hero is attacking! He's finally come. Yunkel, as guardian of the Dark Lord, it's my duty to fight the hero. It's possible I won't survive. Now you mustn't leave this place. If I don't return, promise me you'll grow up strong. Havan? Stress! Dead! Unlike other monsters, the undead cannot sustain themselves without the Dark Lord's presence. With Hadlar's death and the loss of his dark power, my father. Yungul. Thank you for the memories. It's ironic. The man who happened to find me was Avon himself. He had no way of knowing who I was. Perhaps he assumed I was some child the monsters had captured. But I knew immediately that he was the hero, and the one responsible for what happened to my father. At that moment, I swore that I'd gain the strength to one day defeat him. That's why I became a Vaughn student and learned to fight, so that I could defeat him with what he had taught me! Stop it! I know how you feel, but Master of Vaughn was... What? Was fighting for justice? Justice or not, it doesn't change the fact that he took everything from me. My father was reduced to ashes. If that is justice, then justice itself is my enemy! Now to finish you off, I'll show you the special attack that I intended to use on Avan! Take this! This is the attack I developed just to defeat the Avon-style sword technique. It's called Bloody Scride. I devised this attack as I absorbed everything Avon taught me. Then, on the day I graduated, I came for his life. Congratulations, Yunkel. You've officially gained the skills of a full-fledged warrior. And so, I present you with this. Consider it a graduation certificate. But you are far from being a complete warrior. Your blade work seems to have a strange malice or animosity to it. Master, do you know a man by the name of Bartos? 
Bartos was the strongest knight in all of the Dark Army, and he was my father. And so the malice that you sense in my blade, it's my hatred towards you for murdering him! Wait a minute, Kyoko! <laughs> what have I done? I fought back without even thinking. But if I hadn't, I'm sure he would have killed me. Such talent with a blade. He strikes like a demon. Yoko! Um, I failed. And the only reason I survived was because the Dark King's trusted servant, Mist Vern, the Shadow Vizier, rescued me. Since then, I have continued to train as a warrior for the Dark Army. Now, my own attack far surpasses the power of Avon Strash! Your foolhardy dodging has only drawn out your suffering. Let me end it for you. My name is Hyunkel. One of the six commanders of the Dark Army. Leader of the Undead Legion! Give it my all! <laughs> I'll crush you in one blow! Stand down. I won't fight a woman. Do not underestimate me. Women can risk their lives in battle especially when fighting for justice. Hmm. Let me guess. A lesson from Yvonne?
Nacht. You have no power, yet you insist on troubling me. This should keep you from pulling any more of your bothersome tricks. Dark puppetry aura hand! This particular skill uses a dark aura to bind the enemy. It is typically used to take control of the undead forces. And now, you're nothing but my puppet. Give it up already, die! Your time has run out! Now die! Bloody scry! What did he... Don't be so sure. But you, I thought... Crocodile! You survived? What is the meaning of this? Just what it looks like. I'm here to protect Dai. You there, boy. Come take Dai and escape with the Garuda. You're still too weak to defeat Hyunkle yourselves. You have to escape. But, ma'am... Don't be concerned. She'll be all right. Hyunkel isn't the type to harm the girl, no matter what the situation is. I'll do everything I can to help her. But right now, you must get Dai out of here. Do you really think that I'll just let that happen? I am still one of the Dark Army's Legion commanders. I can take you down with me if I have to. You can't. You don't have the strength right now. Ah! That's right. Your armor may be brand new, but I can still tell. The wounds from your previous battle still haven't fully healed. Your steel hide is nothing more than a cracked shield right now. No, curse you! Let go! You'll have to finish me off. Crocodile, out of all the Dark King's six Legion commanders, I believe that at least you and Baran were worthy of respect. How disappointing that you'd submit to a brat. I just couldn't stand seeing someone who bested me lose to someone else. A loser's argument. How the Beast King has fallen. If you refuse to get out of my way, Crocodile, I'm just gonna have to run right through you! So be it! Why would you care so much about them? They are the sworn enemies of our Dark Army! Who oh, are Dark Army? <laughs> if you ask me, it never seemed as if you were fighting for the Dark Army. It always looked more like you were fighting out of anger towards the humans. <laughs> I was the same. I looked down on humans. I thought they were puny, pathetic creatures. But fighting Dai and his friends made me realize that they are strong and compassionate beings. They can work together. Sharing their joy as well as their sadness. They're not like us monsters, who are alone in our strength. Quiet! Enough of your nonsense! There's no way you can't realize the greatness within you. Don't you see that you are lying to yourself? I said enough! It's good to be human. When I am reborn, I hope it's as one of them. Crocodile. So long as I have her, they're sure to come to her rescue. And when they do, I'll finish them.
<laughs> We're a proper party now. After fleeing Hyunkle's assault, Dai and Pop met Baddock, a swordsman serving Princess Leona, spending the night at his hideout. The next day, in the hopes of defeating Hyunkle, Pop bound with a brand new spell, Reclimatize. Though Hyunkle's armor may repel all magic, Pop figured that as metallic gear, it remained vulnerable to an electric attack. The plan was for Pop to cast Reclimatize, to summon Thunderclouds, which Dai would then use to unleash a Zapple on Hyunkle. Though Dai struggled to aim while practicing, he eventually prevailed. With their plan set, the boys headed to the underground palace for the final showdown. That's the entrance to the base of the Undead Legion. So Mam's down there? It seems like it. She wasn't at the temple, so they probably took her with them. Then Crocodine? I don't know what happened to him. It looked like he was still healing from when he fought against you, Dai. That's strange. The usual guards don't seem to be around. Well, how lucky for us then. Okay, let's go! Right. Onward! I'll be right beside you! Wait! You don't have to, old-timer. Our main goal is to rescue our friend. We need you here to keep watch, just in case. You do have a point, I suppose. We're off, then. Those brats have entered the palace. Make sure to lead them to where Master Hyunko commanded. Oh no, I've got to get out of here. G goma chan how did you get there? Bibi! Oh, you were worried about me, so you stowed away? Thank you. goma chan can you get those? The prisoners escaped! It's narrow, but hang in there. If this is an air duct, then it has to lead outside somewhere. A hidden room. Oh, a treasure chest. Should we look inside? Huh? Well, maybe it's a can of box. Or maybe it contains some powerful legendary weapon, so... This... this is... Give it my all!
let loose! It's the Colosseum of the Underground Palace. The Dark Lord Hadlar used to have prisoners fight monsters here. He enjoyed making a spectacle of the battle. I choose it now as the perfect place to vanquish you. Hey, this might work. We can see the sky from here. What have you done with Ma'am? Don't worry. Once you're gone, I'll have no use for her. She'll be safely released. In fact, you can leave as well, little mage. Thanks, but no thanks! Well, Pop, we'll fight here. You ready? You two are no match for me. I'll crush you in one blow!
taught me this! All's well that ends well. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Let's go!
My master taught me this! You know, I recently recalled... Don't worry. Once you're gone, I'll have no use for her. She'll be safely released. Take this! Dark aura shot! For me, I'll crush you in one blow. Little pup, we'll fight here. You ready? Not so fast. Puff Mighty spirits, scattered across the heavens, I need you to hear my voice! Very well. If it's a gruesome death you seek, 
I'll finish you off with my blade of hell! Time to die! Okay, all right! Hop now! Reclimatize! What? Take this! Sapple! but I bet he's burnt to a crisp in there. Well, that's what he gets for underestimating us, right, Di? No, Pop! What happened? Even the Zapple spell had no effect? No way. It all went as planned. We definitely struck him through his armor. But somehow he withstood the damage anyway, even without the armor. Uncle's tough as nails. I misjudged you. If you're capable of such a spell, then there's no reason to hold back. So here goes! Binding spell again? Good riddance. Bloody scry! Get up! We can't beat him. Not by sword or by magic. No, you're not. Please answer me and get up! Die! Don't bother. Bloody scry is a killing attack. He's finished. No, please, you can't be dead. It's all my fault. This was my idea. You'll be with him soon, kid. Uncle, wait! How did you escape the dungeon? Listen, that's enough. How could you do this? You attacked another disciple of Avon. You don't know what you're talking about. You're students of my father's killer. You're wrong! I'm telling you, Master Avon wasn't the one who killed him! Just spare me the lies! But it's the truth! I found this in a hidden room underground. That's a... that's a soul shell. Those are made to contain messages recorded by the dead. This one is from your father, the armful that went by the name Bartos. His last words? Impossible! How could this exist without me knowing? This isn't happening. I refuse to believe it. There's no way he's gone. 
He's alive! He avoided a direct hit to his heart. Either he got lucky, or he leaned back just in time. We can't win. He can't be beaten by sword. He can't be beaten by magic. That means only one thing. Your father left this behind because he wanted you to hear the truth. He wanted you to know what really happened the day this underground palace fell. Hilko, my son. Father? Hilko, my dear boy. I leave this message so that you will understand the circumstances, the truth surrounding my death. Justice itself is my enemy! It is good to see... When the Heroes' Party attacked the Underground Palace, I fought Avon himself as the Keeper of the Hell Gate. But Avon was too strong. I prepared for the final blow, but then... What's wrong? Strike me down! I won't. Come now. Don't shame me with your mercy. That medallion you wear was clearly made by the hands of a child. However unlikely it may be, you do have a family somewhere, yes? It's just as I suspected. I will not harm you. You've beaten me. Not just in strength, but heart as well. Now please, open the gate. The only one who I've come here for is Hadlar. I shall. But first I have something I must ask of you. And so, I told him how I found and raised a human child. And that even if he spared my life, should Hadlar perish, I would cease to be. So I beg you, look after my son, Hero Avan. Raise him to be a strong and righteous warrior. And please, show him the warmth of a human. With that, the hero gracefully accepted. And soon after, Hadlar's death cry echoed through the palace. Yet somehow, I continued to live. Lord Hadlar, but how could you have survived? In my final moments, I was saved by the dark powers of the underworld god, Vern! I must now slumber for 13 years to build up my power, and then I will create a new dark army. One even greater and more terrifying than our current forces! But before I get to that, I need to deal with you, loyal servant! Me, but why? Because you've been an absolute failure, Bartos! With your pathetic sense of justice and chivalry, your human-like sentiment makes you weak! And on top of that, you let a bond pass through the Hellgate unchallenged! When I create my new Dark Army, there won't be any place in it for a mistake like you! 
Well, Avon, I hope you enjoy your brief moment of peace. When I awake and assemble my new legions, I'll come for you first! Oh, Yonko! Dad! <gasps> Dad! By then, I no longer had the strength to tell you the truth. So I've hidden this message within a soul shell in secret. Yonkul, I hope you embrace humanity, and that you do not hate Master Ravan. If anything, hate this foolish monster for thinking he could raise you like a man. But know that I was happy, although it was brief. Being your father made this cold corpse of a body feel warmth. Now please, let me say this one more time. Hyoko, thank you for the memories. And that means Lord Hadlar was the one responsible for his death. And Avon. That means he must have known that I thought it was his doing, and even still, he kept his promise and took care of me? <clears throat> All lies! Sword and magic. Hey, die? Sword and magic. Something's wrong. It's as if he doesn't even recognize me. He almost looks like he's unconscious. Die? But how? A direct hit with bloody scryed and the boy still lives? No, stop! Your father! You heard what he told you! Lord Hadlar is the one that you should really hate. Stop using your sword for evil! Enough! Ugh. There's no turning back for me. I am the commander of the Undead Legion. And as long as I am still wearing this armor, I am the Dark Army's vengeful warrior! I am Shankal! Here goes! Magic and sword. Oh no! Die doesn't have his usual speed! This is it! Magic and sword! Go! Supreme armor! What did you do to it? His sword. It burns! Flame of a frizz spell. No one can encase a weapon in magic. And if they could, it would have to be something far beyond a mere human. All right, in the face of danger, Dai was able to create a new attack. Only the magical sword left alone, he found a way to use both! And a magic sword! Curse you! Take this, boy! 
Invincible? anymore. Oh, Ma'am? Yoko! Huh? What, what was I doing? You're back! That's my insignia. You kept it this whole time? I knew that the time would come when you'd want it back, and I could return it to you. This kindness, this caring warmth... She's like... an angel. <sighs> Die! Are you okay? Hey, Pop. Gomachan! Did I win? You did. And... and I lost. Hey, uncle. <laughs> Whoa, what are you doing? He could come at us again once he's healed. It's okay, there's no need to worry. Uh. <laughs> huh? Look at you, Yunkle. Laying right in the enemy's lap after losing. It's hilarious. <sighs> Flazard, was it? Indeed. The mightiest of the Six Legion commanders, and it's Blaze Blaze General Flazard to you. So what are you doing here? Isn't it obvious? I was just in the area. Thought I'd drop by and kill you. <sighs> You know, I have to say, I've never really liked you. A human thinking he could be worth something to the Dark King? Never in a million years! If you'd won, I figured I'd stab you in the back and take all the credit. But honestly, it's even better that you lost. Your cries will be enough thanks for me! Just giving this dormant volcano a little wake-up call. Soon enough, this place will be overflowing with lava. What? Curse you, Flazard! <laughs> Oops! Oh my, looks like I'm not welcome in these parts. Guess I'll be bowing out then. <sighs> That's it for me. I hope you enjoy your swim in the lava. <laughs> it's no good. We can't escape! If we could make it up there, we could... But none of us have that kind of strength left. <laughs> I can't let any of you die here. This is the only way. Crocodile, I finally understand what you are saying. 
I hope I can apologize to you in the afterlife. But for now, just for an instant, I need your help. Lend me your titan strength! Stop it! Don't do this, Yunkel! 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 Thank you all. At long last, my eyes are open. I wish my fate were to carry on helping the three of you, but it looks like this is as far as I go. Farewell, and keep fighting Dai and Pop. Goodbye, ma'am.